guys, and welcome back to another edition of The Big Quiz. As always, I am your host and quiz master, Hunt Unit 751. Joining me this week, we have the Jaguar of Knowledge, Alpha Puma. And this week's howdy, guest, howdy. we have Lil Phil, a.k.a. Weapon Matt. Back from the dead. Back from the dead. I say guest, I suppose we could say special guest, actually, because... Weapon Matt, I think it's fair to say, is not not as part of, not as part of the jumping community compared to a lot of people. Still around, but uh, you know it's great to have him here. On a Rigby invite. Yes, I dragged him here against his will, just like. I got the invite for the We Hate Hunter party. This isn't. <laughs> I dragged you here just like all Jedi. I dragged her against their will. Not a Jedi. Anymore. So anyway, um. I suppose, yeah, we could call you a special guest as well, because we don't know this for certain yet, but Weapon Matt could be coming to the end of his jumping career um, when with the Xbox One fast approaching its end. We don't know yet for certain, so it might not be might not be the end, but either way, we decided we wanted, wanted to get Weapon Matt in for an episode of the Big Quiz. So how are you feeling, Weapon Matt, stepping up in today's episode? I feel like I'm going to kick Puma's ass. Get that dictionary out of here. <laughs> and Puma. <Puma's> encyclopedia. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm already, I already caught the dub for this game. Weapon Matt's got nothing. You know, I'm going to win. Go 3-0. You know. uh, yeah, go and get in a little streak going, you know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to see what happens. So, obviously, guys, for you, everyone watching at home, these questions and the quiz it's, as a whole is going to be based around our competitors' jumping careers, questions on each other's careers, and then questions in general about Halo jumping. Just the usual pointers, guys. All the questions usually are just based around tournaments that have been uploaded or just episodes that have gone up. But I can reveal one of the questions in this episode technically counts towards a tournament that hasn't been uploaded yet. So we could call it a secret Joker question. What will it be? Well, you guys are going to have to watch the episode to find out. Um, and of course, if you guys want to play along at home, then just as per usual, pause the video when the questions happen. Give yourself a short space of time, 10 seconds, 10, 15, 20 seconds or whatever. Put Submit your answers once the quiz is over in the comments below. See what scores you get. Remember, because I think there was a bit of confusion in the last episode, Maximum points that our competitors here can get is 30. Of course, if you're answering all the questions, the maximum number of points that you guys at home can get is, I want to say, da, 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 four, four, 50. Don't forget to submit your answer sheets. It's part of the test. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, I will read them, grade them, and then mock you in the next class in front of all of the students, as a good teacher does. So, to get started with the quiz, we first need to determine who's going first and who's going second. So, as per usual, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. The guest did get to pick first in the last episode, so Puma, you, get, you can guess first. Pick a number between uh, 1 and 100. Um, I'm going to go 72. Okay, weapon map. 17. 17, 72. Thank God some variety at last. The number I was <laughs> thinking of was 58, which the significance of that is, that is how many different people have cleared stage one in 20 tournaments of Ninja War of Halo, which include oh, wow. the two competitors that did it in this 20th tournament, Black Chris and Vulcan. So, Puma was closest. So, Puma, you have the choice of going first or second. We'll, we'll give Weapon Matt the pressure if he's so confident. So, Weapon Matt's going first? Yeah, let, let him go first. Oh, okay, then. Round one is all about your jumping career. Let's play. Okay, Weapon Matt, ten questions. We have got ten questions this week. For ten points... All about your jumping career. If you're ready, 
let's begin. You made your Ninja War of Halo debut in Tournament 17, where you made it to the second stage before failing on the Salmon Ladder. Name another competitor that failed the Salmon Ladder in that tournament. Lethal Wizard. Correct. Lethal Lizard or Walking. Walking. Yes. What number did you wear on your Halo Ninja Warrior debut in Tournament 13? 21. And I got fast forwarded because Monkey's a prick. <laughs> Correct. And I didn't actually know that you got fast forwarded. That's kind of funny. What is the earliest failure you've ever had on a jump course, not including abs? It's a Kai, I believe. Another jump hang Kai is up there for the fourth obstacle. You're going with fourth obstacle? Yeah, fourth yes. obstacle. Yes. I failed the fourth obstacle three times. Before. Yes, fourth obstacle. You failed the ghost ramp in Spartan Sasuke Tournament 6, but you were part of an elite group of competitors to reach that obstacle in that tournament. Including yourself, how many people cleared the flying chute to get to the ghost ramp in Tournament 6? Only three people did it, including myself. Correct. You, Ump, and Sarkon. What was your Stage 2 clear time in Halo Ninja Warrior Tournament 17? 18.4 seconds. Get on this level. Wow. Yeah, um, and you threw the catchphrase in as well. Get on this level. Which competitor that also made their Halo Ninja Warrior debut in Tournament 13 has also cleared Stage 1 four times on Halo Ninja Warrior. That Chris? Chris is correct. Okay, next question. You failed Stage 1 in Ninja Warrior of Halo Tournament 19 and 20, but you did get to the Wart Wall at least in both tournaments. Name the only other competitor that got to at least the Wart Wall in both of those tournaments, but also failed stage one in both of those tournaments. Failed stage one. Oh my goodness. Um, Neuromac? You're going for Neuromac? It is actually Bananarama, the guy who failed the last obstacle. <laughs> who was breathing a sigh of relief that you got one wrong at last. <laughs> you reached the final stage in Halo Ninja Warrior Tournament 16. Obviously a crowning moment for you. You were amongst 12 Stage 1 clears in that tournament. When in the clear... When amongst those 12 did you clear Stage 1? Third. Pandas, Patty, and me. You were the third person to clear, yes. What is your best ever performance in Spartan Sasuke? Getting to the crazy cliffhanger, tournament 12. Another tournament on Spartan Sasuke where you finished in third place, incidentally. Yeet. And it's tied second. I've got the worst save cup in history. I just fell <laughs> off the floor. And finally, across all jump courses, which competitor have you has reached stage two alongside yourself the most? The most? Oh boy. Um uh, Puma. You're going for the man himself, Puma. It is Fireball. You and Fireball have made it to stage two together nine times. Uh, Puma and Ump, you've done it eight times. And then me, Smokey, and Sauron six times. Okay, that is a solid start for Weapon Matt. Let's yeah. see what Puma is going to deliver. Okay, Puma, you're <laughs> starter for ten with ten points. Here we go. Alrighty, let's go. Let's go. What is your highest finishing position in a Spartan Sasuke tournament? Third? Third? Second in tournament one. That's tournament two. Tournament one. Oh, forgot about Smokey. I thought Smokey got part of him. I'm stupid. <laughs> You made your Ninja War of Halo debut in Tournament 15, wearing the number 51, as you know. But who ran at number 50 just before you made your debut? I'll give you a clue. It's a it's a veteran. You go with Gotenks. 
Sakeshi. Sakeshi. I, I knew Flame was man. 52, and I was like, I'm ready that you're gonna ask that question. <laughs> What yeah. is the only Halo Ninja Warrior obstacle on stage one that you have attempted but never beaten? Oh, the swinging pendulum. Correct. Dude, same. Uh. You and me, Puma, have both competed together in 11 Spartan Sasuke tournaments. Of those 11 tournaments, how many of them did we both clear stage one together? I'm gonna say six. Six out of eleven. It's yeah. actually four. Well, we cleared together in the five. first four tournaments and then have never been That's to stage it? two. And have never been to stage two together since. You failed the curtain clang in Halo Ninja Warrior Tournament 17. But who was the last competitor to fail the curtain cling before you? Before me. Uh, I'll give you another clue. Back. This is this is going this is going a little bit back, a little bit back yeah. before it's seventeen. Um, it just depends on who got who had the higher number in that tournament. I think it's mm -hmm. I think it's Buddy. I think Buddy had a it, higher number. So it is Buddy. He did have the higher number, okay. which means one it higher, was. Right? I think it might have been one <laughs> higher. Like one number higher. Yeah. Yeah. Who is the only competitor that you have reached stage three alongside? more than once in Ninja War of Halo. That's, um, this Smokey then, yeah, Smokey. Yes, it is Smokey. <laughs> I was about to say no one, because I need to This, this episode, <laughs> this episode will be airing after the Stage 2 episode, so technically, okay. you know, break in the fourth wall, audience! Okay, <laughs> next, next question. You reached right. the second stage on abs for your first time in Tournament 5. Who yeah. finished in first place in that tournament? It's, I know Chris and Linux Champ made the third stage. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Chris got farther. It was Chris. Another question with All Chris right. is the answer. <laughs> Amongst the 22 stage one players in Ninja War of Halo Tournament 16, where did you finish on the stage one leaderboard based on your time? I think I had the fourth fastest time. Correct. Fourth fastest out of 22. You have made 16 appearances on Spartan Sasuke, having competed in the first 16 tournaments. Yeah. Who is the only other competitor currently on 16 appearances? So 16 appearances exactly. You know, I'm going to say Snaz. It is Snaz, which I guess makes you and Snaz the joint third most experienced competitors on that course. Yeah. <laughs> you failed the rolling ball on your Ninja War of Halo debut. Name the most experienced competitor that also failed the rolling ball in that tournament. Oh, Jesus Christ, what kind of question is this? Um, A tough one. This is tough, dude. Um, I'm gonna go with... You know, I'm, I'm gonna go with the Atom Lad. The Atom Lad? Yeah. I'm no, it, it is... It is <laughs> UNAS Clannish, or Clannish See, Safe. I was in the right ballpark. I was in the right ballpark. See, I knew it was gonna be like one of the kids that sucked. So, after round one, we have a slight alteration in proceedings compared to the last two episodes. Puma has six oh, points. Weapon Mad is in the lead on eight points. But still plenty to play for as we go into round two, which is the Who Am I? Okay, Weapon Map, you probably know the drill. Five clues, one guess after each clue. Five points if you get it after the first clue, one point if you need all five clues, and of course no points if you decide to pull a flame and not get it right. Imagine not knowing who Asians is. Best of luck. Here we go. Who am I? I have made it to the third stage on four of the major jump courses, but I've only made it to the third stage more than once on only one of them, Spartan Sasuke, which I've done twice. Um, I know this man. I know this jumper. Is that Chumpy? Who's Chumpy? Who's, who's Chumpy? 
<laughs> no, it's not Atlantic. Okay, oh, clue number two. In my first ever tournament in jumping, I ran under a different gamer tag before I then changed my gamer tag. My current gamer tag has been exactly the same ever since. Oh, screw it, I'm just gonna say Chris. No. I was the first person to ever reach stage three on abs. Hmm. Uh, I guess. No. Um. Take all of the uh, uh, take all of the clues into account. Um. They're gonna need an answer. Oh, Patty. Ooh, you came out of somewhere. You are correct, Patty. It is. So that is three points. His original game attack was FX Illusion when he competed in tournament 13. Okay, Puma, your turn for your Who Am I? Clue number one. I have only competed in one tournament on the Xbox One. Oh god, dude. <laughs> uh, Duster Buster. Good guess, but no. I have competed in six Ninja War of Halo tournaments and seven Halo Ninja Warrior tournaments on Halo 4 on the 360. Uh... Shit. Who could it be, dude? Hold on. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need an answer. Or, or, a, mo or a pass. Yeah, yeah, uh, the Belt Dragon. No. I failed the same obstacle on Ninja War of Halo's second stage three tournaments in a yeah. row. Oh, Cam 2602. Yeah. It is Cam. Yeah. Okay, so we're halfway through, and now moving on to round number three, where it's time to quiz you guys on each other's careers. Okay, five questions. First question. Name both of the two competitors that also competed in the first 16 Spartan Sasuke tournaments alongside Puma. Smokey and Swan. Smokey, yes. Fireball was the other person. Really? Puma cleared... St no. No, <laughs> no, you don't get half a point, no. We don't give out half points on this show. <laughs> Puma cleared stage one in Ninja War of Halo tournaments 16 and 18. Name the only competitor that competed in tournament 16, failed stage one in that tournament, and then cleared stage one in tournament 18. Is it Fireball? It is Fireball. I just realized that's two questions in a row where Fireball was the answer. Fireball's getting too much coverage. On Puma's Halo Ninja Warrior debut in Tournament 10, name either of the two competitors that were making their second appearance that cleared Stage 1 for their first time in Tournament 10. Bradley Freakin? Yes, Bradley is correct. The yeah. other, do you know who the other person was, Puma? It was Pandas. My boy, Pandas. Okay, next question. You, we've obviously joked about it a little earlier, that we like to call you Little Phil, obviously associated with the real Phil. But how many times have Puma and Phil both made it to the second stage together across all jump courses? Um, so I'm looking like for a specific number. Three times. Ninja War of Halo Tournament 16, and then Spartan Sasuke 11. 11 and 16. What did Weapon that say? And he said two. It was oh. actually three. And to be fair, I did actually, I'm not actually sure if I checked this on abs. Okay, next question. Name the only course that Puma has reached the final stage on. But I'll give you a clue. It's not one of the major jumping courses. It's one of the quote unquote pixel courses. Um, this is a mean question. <laughs> so, this is a hard question. It's not, it's not Sonic for me. Uh, Hawking King, I don't know. 
<laughs> and could you imagine if Talking King hosted a course? Puma? Let us know. It was Clever Alchemist. Sparkle. It was Clever Alchemist, yes. The fun uh, thing is, uh, Fireball also guys in the final stage got total victory, so... <laughs> okay. Right, two questions. Puma. Right this is a slight oh, yeah, opportunity to crawl back to the gap. Five points yeah. off the grabs. Here we go. Where did Weapon Matt fail on his Spartan Sasuke debut? Oh shit. Good <laughs> uh, start. The Dancing Stones? No, no he, coil he failed the Coil Dodge Fuck. in Tournament 2. I think it's the Weapon Matt failed the Jump and Kai on his Halo Ninja Warrior debut in Tournament 13. Including yeah. Weapon Matt, how many people failed that obstacle in that tournament? 15. 15 is correct. Only taking into account the tournaments that have currently been uploaded, what was the last Stage 1 that Weapon Matt cleared chronologically? Oh god, this has to be a Spartan. No, wait. Uh, I'm going to say Spartan Sasuke... Tournament. Woo! So oh, close! It was 12! Fuck. What was Weapon Matt's finishing position in Spartan Sasuke Tournament 14 when he failed the Tarzan rope? No, this wasn't the tournament everyone failed, so... The tournament before that. I'm gonna say seven. Fourth. Fourth place. Oh, oh really? I forgot. Three, three people... Three people cleared stage one. Weapon Matt had the best performance out of everyone that failed stage one. Uh, had two top five, top four finishes on that course failing like stage one. <laughs> That's pretty surprising. That's pretty funny. <laughs> what number did Weapon Matt wear on his debut in Ninja War of Halo Tournament 17? That's oh rude. my god, dude. Uh, it was, it was after me. It was like, was it like 85? 83. Yeah, I was close. What number was Puma? I was 77. Well, we dug ourselves in a hole right now. So going into the final round, I can tell you Puma is currently on 10 points. Weapon is on 13 points. But we still have more points up for grabs in the final round, the quick fire round. Okay, this week's quickfire round, we have another new game, which I'm calling Higher or Lower. I'm going to give you a jumping stat, followed by a number. Then I will give you another question, based around a stat, but I won't give you the number. You have to tell me whether it's higher or lower than the previous stat I gave you. For example, let's say, I don't know. Number of times I've made it to the final stage on Smokey's course is two. Number of times that Gotenks has made it to the final stage is three. So obviously that is higher than the previous okay. than than the previous stat. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Well, and this is the okay. Is this the one so, that we call out like our catchphrases? Yeah. You guys is, are going to need your catchphrases, Puma. Well, we we obviously know your you know yours by now. So. Weapon Matt, because your most iconic line is get on this level, we can't get you to say all of that, so you simply have to say the word level. Level. So, the starting <laughs> stat, the starting stat is as follows. Number of stage threes that I have made it to on Halo Ninja Warrior, which is obviously 15. First question is going to follow based off of that. Okay. Every stage three clear on Halo Ninja Warrior during the Halo 4 era. Hello. Level. Uh, that is Puma. Higher or lower? Lower. It is lower. The number is 13. So, 13 is the new number. Next question. Puma's number when he cleared stage one in Ninja Warrior of Halo tournament 16. Hello. Uh, uh, level. That, that is Puma. Word. Higher or lower? Higher. higher. It is higher. It's number 17 you wore in the tournament. The numbered competitor Snoz was when he reached when he first reached stage three on Halo Ninja Warrior. Level. Okay. Uh, weapon map, higher or lower than 17? Higher. 
lower. He was the 14th different person to reach stage three. 14 is the new number. Next question. The number of Spartan Warrior tournaments there were ever. Level. Hunter. That is Weapon Man. Lower. It is higher. There, were, there have been 17 Spartan Warrior tournaments officially. I knew that. I knew that. So 17 is the new number. The longest gap between appearances for a competitor on Spartan Sasuke. Hunter. That is just Puma. That was close. Overlay says Puma. Uh, lower. It is higher. There is a competitor what? who what? competed what? in what? Tournament 1, and there's going to be one that is competing in Tournament 19. His name is Lord of... I didn't think Lord of would count. Oh my god. That was the question right there. Okay, so 18 is the new number. The new number. The number that Z Master wore in both of his first two Halo Ninja Warrior appearances. Weapon. Oh, no. That is Weapon Mat. Higher. Lower. He wore number 11 in both of his first two appearances. Which is. 7 and 13. The number of stage 1 clears there were in Ninja Warrior of Halo Tournament 17. Hunter. Level. That is Puma. Lower. It is lower. Yeah. That one is seven. <laughs> yeah. So seven is the new number. The number of times that Phil has cleared stage one on apps. Level. That's Puma. I'm gonna say higher. Higher than seven is correct. He has cleared stage one eight <laughs> times on apps. <laughs> Good job, Phil. Good job. The number of attempts it took Pixel before he finally reached stage 3 on Halo Ninja Warrior. Weapon. Hunter. That's Weapon Man. The number is 8, correct? 8 is correct. Higher or lower? Lower. Higher! It was his ninth appearance. It was his ninth appearance when he f finally made it to stage 3. Last question, 9 is the number. The number of times that Re was the last person to run stage one on Ninja War of Halo. Hunter level. I'm actually, Puma, you jumped in before I actually finished, so I'm gonna have to give that one legally to Weapon Matt. Higher or lower than nine? Um. Higher. Got an answer? Higher is correct. He was the last oh, runner on stage one. 11 times. 11, really? Right. So, we just tied, didn't we? For the first time in the Big Quiz's long and illustrious history, we have a tie. Puma has 14, Weapon Matt has 14. Obviously, we need a winner. So, I've got a tie break, tie break question. I'm going to give you a question where we have to uh, you need to give me a specific number. What well, no, once I've given you the question, you guys have got 30 seconds to think of what you think the answer is and then message it to me. Oh, Whoever shit. gets closer wins the game. Do I have a oh, boy? Okay. So, if you are both ready, here is your yeah. tiebreak question. Weapon Matt made his debut on Ninja War of Halo in tournament 17, including Weapon Matt how many newcomers competed in that tournament? Your 30 seconds starts now. In 17. Okay. Is it highest without going over? Whoever's closer, I very much doubt you guys are going to be tied with one being higher and one being lower. Uh, you guys have got 10 seconds. Alright, that's... That's my guess. Okay, so right. you, answers are in. Time to reveal what you guys put. Puma, what was yours? I, I said 56. Weapon map, what was yours? Okay. I can tell you the answer is 64. Which means... Weapon Matt was closer, which means Weapon Matt 
is the winner. Puma oh was out by eight. Okay. Weffermat was out by six. Weffermat gets the final point, which means the final scores are Weffermat with 15, Puma with 14, and Weffermat just walked all over the text. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, I want to go shake Puma's hand. Ah, excellent. So for the first time, we can say the guests are on the board. Flame and Atlantic, I'm sure, are very happy. It currently sits at 2-1. Puma, I'm sure, will be gunning for revenge from whoever steps you know, up next. It really do be like that sometimes. It happens. It was a close game. Puma, Puma you, you pulled it back. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, obviously, as I say, leave your scores below if you played along. And if you guys want to see... If you want to let us know what you guys want to see improved in future episodes or just other suggestions, again, let us know in the comments below. And, of course, as per usual, if you think you have what it takes to pull a weapon, Matt, and take on Puma and beat him, then, of course, let us know in the comments below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I have to say this has probably been my favourite episode so far with how close of a competition it was. We will see you guys for another episode soon of The Big Quiz. Goodbye, guys. Bye. Ow!